Okay, hello, my name is Mike Bell from Simple Improvement Limited. What I'm going to talk about today is the link between bell shaped curves and process behaviour charts. Not immediately obvious. Now we know that bell shaped curves, they're a snapshot in time of the variation in the process. We also know that if we get three sigma either side of the centre line, then everything that's inside the bell-shaped curve is common cause and everything that's outside is special cause. Okay? I'm going to talk more about process behaviour charts and we're going to put on limits at 3 sigma exactly the same okay? and everything that's inside these limits common cause variation again and everything that's outside we've got a little point down here that outside that special cause variation but how do we link the two ah it's really simple so let me move this out of the way and get my little model in place uh -huh. so here's some data that i've got and it's shown in a simple model with little wooden balls okay and this demonstrates a run chart, a process behaviour chart. And this is the data ex exposed with, in relation to time. But if I want a snapshot in time, which is a bell-shaped curve, all I have to do is turn it on its side and we've got a bell-shaped curve. And we know that everything that's inside the bell-shaped curve is going to be common cause and everything that's outside the bell-shaped curve is special cause. Okay? So just remember that link between the two bell-shaped curve to process behaviour chart. The limits are the same. 